Welcome to another video tutorial of the WinCCT portal. In today's tutorial we will see how we can make animation using movement function on HMI screen. But before starting this tutorial please subscribe my channel to stay connected with this channel. Let's start today's session. First we will go to the graphics menu and select any item I would select a forklift and resize it according to my screen size. Now we will go to the properties of this object and select animation option. Here you can see the we option for movement in all four axes. We will select to move this forklift in the horizontal axis. Here we can set the target position of the forklift. Right now is 214 in x-axis. You can see that as I increase this value position of forklift as changes in the x-axis. Now next thing here is that we have to connect one variable tag for this movement animation. This will be a numeric value which will translate the forklift position on screen. As you can see the tag range starts from 0 and ends at 100. 0 is the start position of the forklift and 100 corresponds to the target position of the forklift. Now we will drop two buttons on the screen to start forward and reverse movement of the forklift. Now HMI side is done we'll go to the PLC and go to the properties of the CPU. Here we can enable the clock memory byte 0. What clock memory byte does? All 8 bits of this memory byte are turning on and off continuously at different frequencies. We will use these bits to make a counter to give position for the animation of forklift. Now we will go to the OB1 we can use up down counter to add and subtract every time forward or reverse button is pressed. We can connect current value memory word 3 tag to the forklift. The current value of this counter will be used to set the position of forklift on the screen. Now we go to the HMI screen again. We will set the movement tag for animation to the PLC forklift position tag. Similar way we can set the PLC tags for the forward and reverse to push buttons on the screen using event menu. Now everything is done we can start PLC simulator and upload program into it.
Now we will start HMI runtime. As you can see that if I press the forward button forklift starts moves to right side and if I press reverse button forklift starts to moves to left side. So that's how we can animate any object on the HMI using WinCC. Please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming exciting videos. Till next tutorial take care and goodbye.